All right, welcome back, everyone. I want to show you guys my little electric boiler here that I've got, that I've made for doing controlled thermal input tests to the vacuum chamber Tesla turbine runs. Starting to develop some pressure here. You can see up at the top, you can see the temperature's going up too. Ooh, buddy. Remember my other video? We're gonna be making a pigeon steam call whistle in the name of Tesla. This thing's doing pretty great. Right now, I got only the 1500 watt on the bottom going. There's another 1500 watt in the top here, too. So I can get 1500 in for boiling. I can do a 1500 superheater. And I can also, or I could just do 3000 watts in the boiler because I want to be able to do a controlled test. It, it won't take it up to too high of pressures for going into this right now because it can't handle the or the polycarbonate can't handle it but for the future we can do this for now for up to pretty high pressure and that means pretty high temperature and everything else in the system is stainless steel for the most part so you'll be able to see this at full speed and full pressure once we're ready you can see this is a it's not going in though because i got to open a hole in there still This is pretty great. I like it. I'll be able to do super controlled tests, 3000 watts of uh, electric thermal in, and then we'll be able to see exactly what we can get out from the turbine. And the Rankine thermal cycle puts a lot of energy towards the latent heat of vaporization, and then the what's left and what pressure you get it up to is what's available for expansion to the pressure you're going to before the before it starts to form condensation droplets. This is great. Constant 3,000 watts out all the way into the condenser. Go up through the turbine, out into the vacuum chamber, then down through these pipes, through the intercoolers, which will have water trickling over top of them, through this. This is a big shell and tube heat exchanger. This will have cooling water go through that too, and then down into this keg, which is the final condenser, which has a cooling coil wrapped inside of it for the final condenser. Eventually, I'll do a full closed loop, but right now, I just want to do in and out, like proper in and out. Man, yeah, getting about 5 PSI on this at least easily. And there's no insulation on this. So I'm sure if I put a little bit of insulation on this, this thing would do a little bit better. I gotta figure out what throttle will give it the where it doesn't drop in pressure. So it'll keep a constant supply. And we can do that constant supply into the turbine to the vacuum. I like it. I like it a lot. That's pretty cool. It's Pretty simple. Just electric water heater. Not sure if you guys can hear it boiling a little bit. <laughs> 